Hello and welcome to a special episode of Geopunk. On this episode, we will be learning how to play my card game, Go Cash. Go Cash was successfully kickstarted in October of 2014. It's a fun, simple game for two to four players, geocaching themed, where on your turn, you try to find a geocache and other players try to stop you. It's pretty much that simple. Before we get into how to play the game, let's first stop and take a minute to look at the Go Cash card itself. The top left of the card, as well as the bottom right of the card, show the card's suit. Go Cash also doubles as a standard deck of 52 playing cards, with the two rule cards acting as the jokers. At the top, we find the card's name. And right below that is the card's artwork. Each card has its own individual piece of artwork done by Indy Martin. Below the artwork is the card's action. This tells you what specific task this card performs in the Go Cash game. This varies from card to card, so make sure to pay special attention. Below that is the flavor text. These are just intended as funny little quips or observations about geocaching in general, and usually give you some ideas what inspired me to create that card. Pay special attention to the background color of this, however, because it also corresponds to the icons in the top right. There are six card types in Go Cash, and each card type serves a specific purpose to the game. Let's go and look at each one in more detail. GPS receivers, or GPSR devices, are used to help you find extra caches. You do this by equipping them. We'll go more into equipping later. You may only have one of these devices equipped at one time. Lifelines are your savior cards. These are the cards that help you fight off muggle cards. You may play a lifeline to save yourself any time, and you may also play a lifeline to save another player if you so wish. Wilderness is one of the two types of caches that you can find. Watch, because some types of GPS's and transportation work better with wilderness than they do other cache types. Muggle cards are used for preventing other players from finding caches on their turn. During the counter phase, any player may play a muggle card. Transportation cards, like GPSR devices, are auxiliary cards that you can equip to help you find extra caches while you play. Urban is the second of the two caching types. As with wilderness, some transportation and GPSR devices work better in urban settings. Now let's take a look at the rules card. This is a good card to have and a good rule of thumb is whoever's turn it is should always have this card for reference. The rules of the game are simple. To begin the game, shuffle the deck very well and each player will draw five cards. Then the youngest player goes first with the turns progressing clockwise. Let's go through the phases of the turn. To better help demonstrate this, we'll use our resident artist Indy and a helpful muggle we'll call Yulik. First, let's take a look at the five cards Indy drew. Indy got a transportation card mountain bike, a lifeline lucky, the muggle card waterlogged, and two cash cards, a wilderness cash spelunking, and an urban cash LPC. The first two phases of the turn are equip one GPS and or transportation card, and then this card as desired. To equip a card, you simply set it down in front of you so that all players may see it. Indy only has one transportation card mountain bike, so she goes ahead and equips that. Since she's happy with all her other cards, she'll choose not to discard. Next up is the draw phase. You always want to make sure that you have five cards in your hand. Next is the play one cash card phase. As long as you have at least one cash card in your hand, you may play it. Indy draws another cash card, an urban cash. But since she has already equipped her mountain bike, which gives her plus one to wilderness, she decides to play her wilderness cash. This begins the bread and butter of Go Cash, the counter phase. In this phase, any player can attempt to stop the player whose current turn it is by using Muggle cards. Now that player hopes that they might have lifelines so that they can counter the Muggle cards. Other players can also use lifelines if they so wish. Now we'll take a look at the hand Yulik drew. Yulik drew the GPS or device Ancient. Two lifelines, Night Casher and Bag of Tricks, the Muggle card Stand By Me, and one Wilderness Cache, Hydro. Yulik weighs his options and decides to counter Indy's card with his Stand By Me Muggle card. Indy quickly counters back with her lifeline, Lucky Cat. 
Since Yulik has no more cards he can use to try to counter Indy's cash, Indy wins and gets two cash fines for the round. She then takes the cards and places them into the discard pile, thus ending her turn. And that's the end of the turn. And that's all there really is to it. The next player will take his turn and he'll start going down the phase card, following the order. And you just keep doing that until you reach your goal of 10 caches or whatever it is you're playing to. Really appreciate everybody taking the time to check out the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me in the description below. And uh, happy caching!